welcome back to my YouTube channel. You already know the vibes. You already know we're getting into it. So today I'm gonna come to you guys with my first story time because child, no. I'm gonna tell you guys a story because this girl was not in my like view of life until she wants to get into my business and you in my business. She did that. So I'm coming to you guys with story time. And with my story time, I think I'm not gonna give you guys like a time frame or like you know, like when it happened around because you guys are gonna know who the fuck it is and if y'all know who the fuck it is y'all can fight her because i'm just telling a story but if y'all find out who it is she gonna come for y'all i'm gonna send the address to y'all houses because i'm just telling the story because it was just musty raggedy no so let's get into the story so basically mm, it's just so juicy <laughs> so basically it was a time where we're all, like, me and my friends were all just partying, have a good timing. Like, having a good timing, like, basically, you know what I mean? Like, giving fuck all. So, this weekend, I remember, like, I don't know some of these people, and you can comment down below, but I had freedom. So, it's like, I never had to, like, sneak out or anything. So, I had weekends where I'm like, y'all can go out because I'm tired. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I value my sleep. And there's some weekends, like, I stayed up till 8, 7 a.m., like, you know, those nights. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. so it used to take a toll on my body so i just kind of stopped so i remember this weekend i was like okay i went out the previous weekend so that weekend i was going out i remember all my friends were like come out come out but i'm like okay it's the same shit same bullshit and i wasn't trying to buy an outfit that weekend so i kept it pushing so then the following weekend comes now and we're all going out and i remember i was at the mall with my parents like this i remember this day so vividly like you know those stories that you can like tell and you're like i know what i was doing what time what place everything that was really the type of story so i was at the mall and i found this really nice white two-piece and you guys it was delicious at the for the time that we were at it was the, like that like when i wore that fit to the club and you saw me you saw me because you already know what I'm, you're if like it's one of those things like, if you know the story you know the story but, like it's one of those fits that like when i put it on like i remember everybody's like oh my god i said like, i know because baby let me tell you right now like ask anybody that knows me like i dress good ain't nobody can tell me motherfucking different like when i want to get ready when i get ready when, One more class. One more class. when a dang michael aquenta gets ready shut the fuck up so this this weekend i remember i had this white two piece i look Mm. and so when i bought it the lady told me when i was buying it at the till she was like you need a seamless underwear like a seamless thong type of thing because um everything shows like it's like a white but like see-through like literally you can see everything so she's like if you're gonna wear panties you need a seamless um underwear so i remember i went to um hudson's bay and the calvin klein they had these seamless nice i don't know if you guys know them but they're these like seamless nice and they come in nude white i think black so i got the white to match it and when i wore the white outfit that weekend like oh it looked like i was naked but i wasn't naked okay so i wore that and it looked so good so now the following weekend comes and i don't go out that weekend but everybody was going out but i was so tired i was like you know what honestly like i'm tired i want to sleep like i went out the previous weekend i looked good everybody gassed me it is what it is right so then she messages me and she's like oh can i borrow the outfit and i'm one of those friends like i don't mind like any any friend that knows me i don't mind any of my friends borrowing anything from my closet like i'm one of those friends like once i wear it you got it like it's all yours like i don't mind my friends because i like my friends looking good i love my friends looking good because the way i get myself ready i expect my friends to be on that level and all my friends are so for me if my friend wants a crop top jeans any type of thing that i already wore or like i'm over it come and wear it you know what i mean and i've always been that generous with my clothes so she's like oh can i wear this fit and i was kind of like okay i wore it the previous weekend i feel like you shouldn't wear it a weekend like you know it's fresh on everybody's minds because all my friends that borrow my clothes they wait like a month like like right like a month or two or not like you know like they wait a bit so for me i was like, okay like back to back weekends like that's kind of like that's kind of cringy you know what i mean like, that's kind of like i'm not trying to do that i'm not doing that at all so i kept it pushing so she's like, okay, cool. And then I see that she went and go, she went to go cop the fit. So she cop the fit now. So I'm like, okay, you went to cop the fit. I'm not mad. I'm not bitter. I already wore it. I know I looked good in it. I'm not a hater. If you want to get the fit too, like it is what it is, right? Like I'm not the, I don't, you know, I'm not the help, like the hostage holder of every piece of clothing that I wear. Like if you like it or if you want, 
anything, you get it. Like, you rock it the way you want to rock it. I kept it pushing. So she copped the fit. I had no hard feelings about it at all. Like, I was like, okay, you can rock it on your own. It is what it is. You didn't buy it for me. You want to buy it on your own? I can't be mad at that, right? It was, it was in the stores. And then... Mm, mm, child. The motherfucking... This is where the motherfucking... If you grab the steering wheel and go... Ooh, that's what the fuck happened. So let me tell you. <laughs> if I'm lying, I'm flying and my feet are still on the floor. <laughs> so, now that she caught the fit or whatever, she messages me and she's like, I think she asked me, if I'm if I'm correct, she asked me like what underwear did I wear with it? Because like, you can see everything. I'll tell you everything with this fit. So I was like, oh, I wore a seamless underwear from like this, this like so-and-so. You only letting her know where I got it. Some, some, if I told you where I got the underwear, <laughs> why, oh, why would your musty, funky, crusty, dusty, bottom of the barrel ass ask me to borrow the underwear? The underwear. I don't know how y'all do shit where you from, but let me tell you something. Where I'm from, we don't oh, do I shit like that. that. Like this girl was like, oh, let me borrow the underwear. And I remember I her and I said, oh, like what? The, like, my pussy juices on your pussy juices? You got me fucked up. You got me fucked up. If pigs can fly that day, pigs were flying. Pigs were flying. So I was like, what? So I told her, no. Mind you, she gets mad. And she, if you see this story time, you actually make me sick. Like, now that I'm deeping it, you make me fuck sick. Sick. So she tells me, she messages me back and she's like, I'll wear it. I'll wash it. And I'll give it back. Mm. Oh, thank you. I don't know. You got some super soap that got the, your pussy juices out of it. Thank you. Yes. Give, look, are you? Look, I was sitting there and I'm like, okay, you caught the fit. I wasn't mad. But for you to come and ask for the underwear and I told you where I got it from, where you can get it. And you want to come and ask me, like, who raised you? Who raised you? What's this whole thing right now? What's this whole thing right now? <laughs> Because I was so disgusted, you guys. I was just like, you're asking me for something that has been on my body, private parts. And I'm telling you no. And then she got mad. Like, she just got mad. Like, why? If, if, you, gotta, if, you, if you don't see any wrong with asking to borrow my underwear... There's not much to say. I was so disgusted. And like, that's why I feel like till this day, like, me and this girl, we don't click. Like, she's one of those people that like, she's a mutual. Mutual? Mutual? Neutral? Oh, yeah, you're my acquaintance, I guess. I want to give you that satisfaction. <laughs> I want to give you that satisfaction. But, like, literally, like, I was just so, like, and when I tell you, like, this is one of those stories, every single day I think about it, I'm like, you must be crusty, dusty-ass bitch. And every, everything that she does, like, I look at her and I'm like, you asked to borrow my underwear. And obviously, once I post a story time, everybody's going to be like, who was it? Who is it? Who is she? Can you tell me who she is? I don't give a fuck. I'm not telling you who it is. People that know me and are close to me that I really fuck with, they're not going to open their ass and going to tell everybody. So that's why for me, it's like this story time. I'm going to save her the embarrassment. So if y'all going to go and track her down, <laughs> if you watch my story time, I know you will. You're not fighting me. You're fighting whoever found you because I'm not saying your name. I didn't give you a name and the title of this name. I didn't even give you a date. So you can't be mad at me. Guess what? You're musty. But this is the first of many story times. But I just made this first. This is my first first time because she was in my business. And if you see my video, you know exactly what business you were in. So exactly. So like, subscribe, and comment and get me to 200 subs because we're almost there thank you for all the love you guys have been showing me for my videos um 
I think it's going to be getting better and better this year when I tell you guys that my videos, my quality, my backgrounds, like I'm trying to switch it up every single time you guys see me on YouTube. So hope you guys stay positive, be happy, hope you guys love this story time. It's going to be a lot more and comment down below like, if you guys want more story times, but I like to use so if you guys want some more, let me know, but like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on my post notifications, and thank you for watching my YouTube channel.